Today's topic is SnapR, how to set up an account. A female character appears behind a lectern. A whiteboard appears to the right of the screen with the female character's dialogue transcribed onto the whiteboard. SnapR is the Bureau of Industry and Security's secure web portal for exporters to submit export license applications, commodity classification requests, re-export licenses, and the notification requirement under license exception agricultural commodities. In this video, I will provide you with step-by-step -step instructions on how to register for a SnapR account. Part 748 of the EAR Application Classification Advisory and License is shown on the screen. Section 748.7 .7 in the Table of Context is outlined in red. Section 748.7 .7 of the Export Administration Regulations provides instructions on how to register for a SnapR account. A screenshot of the BIS homepage appears in the next screen. The next few scenes show how to navigate through the BIS website as described by the female character. There are three ways to get to the SnapR login page. To begin, Navigate to the Bureau of Industry and Security website at www.bis.doc.gov and hover the mouse over Licensing on the blue menu bar. In the drop-down menu, hover the mouse over Simplified Network Application Process Redesign. SnapR, yep, that's what SnapR stands for. On the next menu that pops up, click on SnapR Online Registration and Login to get to the SnapR login page. The second way is to click on Exporter Portal from the home page and then click on the Snap R login icon. The third way is to type in the Snap R web address directly into your browser. The web address that appears in the browser is https colon forward slash forward slash snapr dot bis dot doc dot gov forward slash S-N-A-P-R forward slash. In addition to this video, there are frequently asked questions and login and registration help guides available on this webpage to guide you through SnapR. To register for an account, click on register online for a SnapR account below the login box. The mouse hovers over register online for a SnapR account, which is a hyperlink below the login box. Fill in the information requested on the following page. The fields with red asterisks are required. The fields and asterisks include country, company name, address line 1, city, state, zip code, first name, last name, phone, email address, and a line to confirm your email address. Please note that PO box addresses are not allowed Double check that the address you entered is correct because you may be asked about this on the following page. Read the certifications and click on the two boxes below the certification indicating that you have read, understand, and agree with the conditions. Finally, click on Submit My Registration. Sometimes, you might receive a message that says, the address you typed in has failed our verification. This is common. If you are positive that you typed in the correct address and you did not enter a PO box, then go ahead and click Continue. If you click on No, go back to Register button, the information you previously entered will be deleted, and you will need to re-enter that information. After you select Continue, you will see this page which confirms that your registration was submitted. The web page says, Snap R Registration. Thank you for submitting your Snap R Registration. Although the address you typed in failed our verification, we will still process your registration. We are sending an email to the address you listed to verify your email address. You must follow the instructions in the email to proceed with your registration. You will receive two emails from BIS. The first will be an email with a link to confirm that you provided the correct email address. You must click on the link to continue the registration process. The first email subject line is Snap R Registration Confirmation, and the email says, Thank you for submitting your SNAP R registration. Before we can continue processing your request, you must verify your email address by clicking the link below. The second email will include another link that will enable you to activate your SNAP R account. You must activate your account within five days of registering for an account, or you will need to contact BIS at snapr at bis.doc.gov to request that the invitation email be resent. 
The second email's subject line is snap our account invitation. And the email says to please visit a link to set up your snap our user account. It provides your applicant ID and indicates that you'll need it in order to log in to snap our. A whiteboard appears with the female character's dialogue transcribed onto the whiteboard. Here are some helpful tips when getting started with snap R. First, if you don't see any emails from BIS, check your spam or junk folder. Second, to increase efficiency, set up security questions. By setting up security questions, you will be able to reset your password and login IDs and receive reminders for your company identification number without assistance from BIS or your company SnapR administrator. Third, you may want to consider designating more than one person as an account administrator for the company SnapR account. This feature is available under SnapR self-management. To ensure efficient processing of license applications and commodity classification requests, the creator of each work item is able to provide user rights to other company SnapR users by clicking on Manage User Rights in the work item. That way, if you're out of the office for any reason, the additional account holder will be able to respond to BIS requests. If you have any questions related to registering or signing into SnapR, please contact the SnapR Help Desk at 202-482-2227. Thank you for watching this online video and happy exporting! The SnapR email address snapr at bis.doc.gov also appears on the whiteboard.